Hails, it's Cherry from Rauda to be back with reaction videos. This time we're gonna go for Wolverine versus Deadpool. Or was the other way around? Let's take a trailer, I will react to it, and then I will comment on the movie, which I've already obviously seen. So let's see if this trailer is fake or not, in my opinion, and if the trailer is actually worth good. So, uh, there we have it. Let's see how it is. This is 2 minutes and 40 here. seconds or so. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll Can leave. Can you imagine? Already cursing oh, in a not. Disney movie. I need you to come with me well, right obviously now. it's dead. I love fucking love. I'm not interested. I love over right, well, I'm sort of on the What tick, could tick, go so wrong? Upsy daisy. Here we go. Hey, hey. Oh. Whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want that. I gotta love this humor. Because I'm as silly in real life as Deadpool. I just have the, the regenerative powers, double katanas, double guns. So technically, I'm like, you know, order Deadpool from Wish, Temu, about. whatever. Oh, no, my exaggerating, fucking obviously. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? I hate when they put this kind Come of music. Again. This in trailers. Down Unfortunately, it's world. very much in the music of uh, the movie as well. <laughs> so this premises violence. Want to talk about what's haunting you or horrible humor? That is good flashback. humor. Uh, cursing. Fuck yourself. And uh, horrible music. So far, so good, except for the horrible music part. Then you have modern music, world. slow move parts. Slow motion things. I fucking hate this stuff when it's overused. You were an X Man. And it's used too much here. You were the X Man. The culture's soaking wet right now. Badass action. That got boring over, I don't know, 20 years ago. And yet they still use it. Overused. But let's be honest about it. This trailer would sell me. The movie. Why? Because of the cursing, because of the humor, because of the violence. Stupid parts. And of course the characters. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! And the best part is, even though this is giving you quite a bit of impression what's really happening in the movie, it doesn't show you the best parts. Not the best dialogue parts and all that stuff. Hey! The one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupted? And Even force bump. Do this you part build really cracked me yes. up in the movie as well. <laughs> Why? Because they basically openly mocked Disney for, you know, um, do that, doing that stuff. And, uh, you know, obviously, drugs and cursing, killing, all that stuff doesn't really go well uh, with, the, with the Disney part. So, uh, what do you think about the trailer versus the movie? To be honest, I think you give us a good impression. If you dislike the humor already with the given trailer video, you're, gonna, you're not going to like the movie. However, also works in the other direction. If you like uh, the trailer and you like the dialogue and that's those stupid jokes and those characters, you're gonna love the movie. Now, lucky for you, in case you're just watching the trailer, doesn't show any of the bad stuff in the movie. There are not too many of that because I must say, I really, really fucking liked it. But what I didn't like it when they used this multiverse, multiverse thing with, uh, you know, different timelines going about like forking and you're gonna die if you don't do this the universe is gonna die if you don't do this and blah 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 that was so overwhelmingly fucking boring and annoying with the Loki series and I like Loki character in the comic books but the movie version or TV series version even less man I was just hoping something badass to be but the Loki one was bad and uh, this whole TVA or TWA whatever it's called uh, it really didn't, you know, get me going. I mean, it was just boring. All these multiverse, time jumping, whatever things 
give so many excuses to kill everybody and then resurrect and just explaining, oh, it was a different th stuff. And that's the main fault with the movie. Um, Deadpool is supposed to be all about having fun and, you know, breaking the rules and not giving a fuck so much and kind of a giving middle finger to all the censorship and, you know, superhero things are only for kids, the kind of a stuff. But when it actually um, expands on the Loki story, that is the worst side of things. Luckily, you can pretty much let it slide. Why? Because, you know, um, it's Deadpool movie after all. And when you bring Wolverine, and it's an older version, into the game, with Hugh Jackman doing wonderful role once again, not to mention Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, it is just wonderful, really. Uh, and as such, I can say... Um, if this was your first glimpse on seeing anything related to Deadpool, you're in for a treat with three movies. I would probably put this third one as the second best Deadpool movie so far. If only there was less of this fucking time variance whatever thing, I would love it even more. But having some of two of my favorite characters from Marvel Universe is like a treat to my young, older version of my, my young self, which was reading comic books a lot back in the days. Like before metal music became my drug number one, you know, comic books were exactly doing that. So obviously I couldn't have these kind of movies when I was a kid, and now that I have, it's still taking me back, but with a new twist, because obviously back then I couldn't understand cocaine, drugs, jokes, and all that stuff. Anyway, um... Let's see how this goes with the comeback of these weird fucking reaction videos and all. And uh, hey, looking forward to your feedback. How much do I suck? <laughs> you get to vote on that. And I will probably react to that as well. I'm joking. More reaction videos coming to music and video trailers or game trailers. I don't know what the fuck will happen, but something along those lines. So stay tuned with me or not. Up to you. And see you soon with more review videos or reaction videos coming away. Bye bye.